Here we are at Baton Rouge Steakhouse and Bar okay. in Vaughan. Right? I can smell the ribs. I know, already. Yes. Um, we're, we're smelling what's coming off the grill. We're going to show you what's coming off the grill in just a second, but this is going to be a fun way to spend some time. It's great. If you're looking for the location specifically, we're just south of 7 on Weston Road, right on the corner there. You can't miss it. Shall we? Yeah. Let's strap on our carnivore. Here we go. <laughs> Baton Rouge, it is a Montreal concept. So I am from Montreal, and I was born in the Russian business. Back in the days, I was in a little pizzeria, pizza, pizza shop. Mm -hmm. That's how I did it. It went, it went very well. And then I said to myself, I did my time in the pizza place. I want to hit home run. Hmm. And back in the days, which still today, home run was Baton Rouge. Back here in the kitchen at Baton Rouge Steakhouse and Bar with Chef Kumar. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> you know what, if I stand here long enough, I'm going to get myself a suntan. Woohoo, it's hot. And it's, I, I think a lot of people probably feel like it's easy to overcook ribs. Is that true? No, that's not true. Not, not Chef Kumar. Get it right, Neil. Chef Kumar does it spot on every single time. Well, he gets it right. I would probably get this wrong. Is, it, it, is the secret high heat for a short time, low heat for a long time? No, no, high heat. And what would I eat with this? So this is my main. What are my sides? Coastline beans. All right, I'm in. Let's go try it. Shall we try it? Yeah. All right. We're going to eat. Okay, we're at the table, and we're going to introduce ourselves to company oh. once we are done sizing up the lunch. Uh, sorry, <laughs> didn't see them there. Yeah, so we want to introduce you to Stan, our new good friend, Stan Goodman, who is the COO. But, Stan, you were saying to me with Baton Rouge, it's really about the owners of the individual restaurants, isn't it? 100%. At the end of the day, uh, what runs great restaurants is not uh, the bricks and mortar, but the people who physically operate them. And people love coming here. They feel, they feel part of the family, and that's very important to us. We want to, uh, we want to give people the chance to become part of you know, the extended Baton Rouge family, but do you mind if we maybe do some digging in ourselves first here? Please go ahead and enjoy. But trust me, no knives to cut these ribs. They're like butter. Yeah, you had to say that, didn't you? All yeah. right. Do you need All a right. bib or what? Um, maybe a drop cloth. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that that potato, it wasn't quite big enough. I was thinking that I'm amazed it still survived this long <laughs> without just being demolished. That potato is for a family of five, okay? Listen, so that wraps it up for another Foodie Friday. If you want to come and uh, check out Baton Rouge yourself, yeah. uh, you know, there's the one in Thornhill, there's the one here in Vaughan. Find a location close to you at batonrouge.ca. This one here, though, is just south of Seven on Weston, and it is delicious. What? Are there wasn't even rolling? a bone in that. It was Sorry. just meat. Sorry, I didn't know we were still rolling. Sorry. No bone. She's still rolling, isn't she? Yeah. All right. Which is good. That's great. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Do you mind reading? <laughs>